a couple of things actually to start off with. I think Bilal is a young upcoming new writer. So I have read some of his work and uh, he was working with us uh, in the capacity of digital head and looking after digital stuff. But obviously had a yearning for writing. And, uh, you know, I, I get very uh, enticed and excited by young talent which goes out in the world and um, writes a book, etc. And uh, so that was one part. Second was all, uh, also the, you know, the coming together of a platform like Netflix, uh, which would give opportunity to younger ones, maybe before the time also, which is a good thing, you know, because if you kept waiting for a writer of his caliber to uh, wait for that film or a book to turn into a film, it takes a little time, you know, there's, uh, there are gaps between trying to get a film on floor. Uh, not to say that the shows or the films we do for Netflix are any smaller, but also there's an openness on that platform that you can do a, a push the envelope a little more. Uh, there is less uh, restrictions and sometimes some stories require, uh, you know, more character uh, driven story line uh, than plot driven. Uh, so I think uh, Bilal had that hold on his book. Uh, there were some really interesting characters and then, you know, to get that amalgamated with Netflix uh, was very, very exciting for me and uh, I thought it would be exciting for him uh, to get into this venture. It's wonderful, you know, so when, when, when uh, we do normal business, I think uh, uh, the best of films that we released from India uh, managed to hit about 70 countries uh, globally, including India. Um, so, you know, with Netflix, if you have uh, access to 190 uh, countries and even if you consider that if 90 of them don't watch it, uh, 100 watch it, it's a bigger market. And I think it's a step for every Indian uh, through Netflix and OTT platforms that, you know, we are able to showcase our cinema, our storytelling to a bigger audience, you know, otherwise because of the um, lack of language understood in Hindi all around the world, I think we always had the paucity of that kind of uh, leverage for our product, but now we have that and I think um, uh, that's, that's quite amazing, you know, uh, you know, sometimes a lot of people say, oh, I'm working in an OTT platform, it's a come down from films, but if you were just to look at a creative person who wants a bigger audience, I think it's a large, huge, bigger audience than uh, even, say, Indian cinema or, or otherwise. So I think, yeah, uh, people have to look at it that way, uh, that a performer or a creative person is going and putting his thing out there in the world. And uh, the good thing is somehow language is no longer a barrier. I think that's what Netflix has achieved very well. Actually, they've got us hooked on to reading subtitles of even English films now which is rather silly now because I, I have become so used to reading subtitles. I'm like sometimes watching an English film and I'm reading the subtitles in English because I'm so used to watching other languages on Netflix. He's a tough guy. Um, and I, I think, you know, you don't, um, the way Bilal, Mayank and Gaurav and the whole team actually, um, even uh, Ribu and all the director, I think they saw the character as a little unassuming not in your face, uh, you know, tough macho, uh, works with his mind, plus there is obviously a physical ability of an action hero. And I think uh, that mix perfectly fits uh, Imran. I think he's, one, I think he's a wonderful actor. And I like his uh, zone of being extremely underplayed and easy when he does it. Uh, you know, uh, one can tend to, in a conspiracy or a thriller, uh, play act a lot more. But I think the ease with which he could have played it, which he's done in the series, uh, plus, you know, uh, that if you were really to look at intelligence agency guys and girls, they don't seem how we normally depict them, like James Bond, uh, right? So Imran can do the tough stuff, uh, which not very many people have seen him do. In this, he's doing a lot of action and he's trained for it and built his body for it. Uh, but beyond that, the other parts of it, where the intelligence should come across, I think he looks like an intelligent actor. So I think that mix, is, uh, that mix was very important. And then, you know, when I think Bilal and Gaurav and everyone went up to him and asked him to do it, I think he was very keen. Uh, and uh, so far it seems he seems to have really enjoyed it. So I hope everybody likes it too. So just as a joke to take Imran, I think uh, one way to look at it is to say we wanted to turn a serial kisser into a serial kicker. Ass kicker if you allow this. Uh, because he plays a tough role. And um, and also, uh, also, yeah, I mean, there's a whole, uh, uh, again, I'm not supposed to give it, but, but there is an emotional relationship reason also uh, for him traveling through all this, uh, you know, the action thriller part of it. So I think it's, it's a great mix to have him run, uh, you know, because I think he rides both the boats uh, equally well. You know, action has always been, I think, a little um, less of, I mean, 
<coughs> intelligent action or you know smart way of telling an action thriller uh, we, we don't do that we normally do an over-the-top action film also uh, so uh, you know it, it's really nice when you have uh, someone like Netflix backing you giving you the budgets to perhaps even push uh, even you know we, we're watching it on television normally the budgets are not so good to push the envelope for action so I think uh, that aspect that we have enough budgets to kind of push that part will make it um, cinematically really nice uh, and hopefully the action the action is nice uh, you know it's, it's good action it's got shooting it's got beating up it's got bombs it's got blowing up things and stuff uh, but I think the inherent quality is the uh, relationship angle uh, that permeates uh, this whole action drama so to say so yeah hopefully uh, uh, I think it's a great learning experience for all of us uh, and if we get another chance to do it we'd make it even better and uh, uh, nicer inshallah Like, like I said, it's a guy who's uh, got a past and he needs to go back in his past to make sure that his present is a little better or perhaps even worse. Of course, the cast is led by Imran and the story kind of moves with that character. But there are some very interesting characters that have been written, especially for the ladies also. Uh, there's Shobita and Kirti playing a very important role. There's uh, Jaideep, Soham and Vineet. Vineet, I think, has done a marvellous job uh, in the series. Uh, and, uh, you know, when, when, when the story was being narrated to me, when Bilal had written, I I'd really thought that, that if that role comes out interesting, it, it would kind of... Uh, give an amazing balance to the story you know you sometimes of course there's an antagonist and the bad guys but th this interaction between what Vineet does and Imran does is also very interesting and all of them have kind of uh, they all look like intelligence agents <laughs> very very nicely and I, I think the director and uh, Ribu has kind of brought them all together uh, also I think you know some, some of the shooting has to be done extremely fast Mm. I mean, this is a technical thing, but the way locations and timings and shot in Ladakh, Rajasthan, sometimes uh, uh, in, in areas and lighting times where you need to hurry it up. And I think uh, Ribu as, uh, as a director has been able to capture that a lot. Uh, so like I was saying, if we get another opportunity, I think this has been a learning thing and hopefully we'll present something interesting for the audience in India. I think the whole story is about... Uh, if, if I may, uh, about the bard himself or the character that Imran plays um, in the series, I, I, I think it's a person who's um, lost himself uh, somewhere along the line. Of course, it's an action series. Of course, it's a, a thriller and conspiracy and stuff like that and intelligence agencies and uh, set in Balochistan um, and, and, and politically uh, also <coughs> extremely well written by Bilal and Hussein Saab. They've kind of uh, brought some stuff which we... I, I didn't know much about, to be honest, and then you know you learn from it if you pay attention. Uh, but I think overall the story is about a person who's lost his way um, and kind of taken a backseat in life, and an opportunity comes to him uh, where he feels, uh, rightly or wrongly, we don't know. I'm giving away no spoilers that he can right that wrong, maybe, maybe give it another shot, uh, maybe have a little more positive outcome out of what went wrong. Uh, at a certain stage in his life, so it's it's his uh, journey back into time. Uh, and uh, when I say time, not in uh, um, like a science fiction way in the past, but journey into same places that he wanted to move away from to uh, perhaps find some kind of closure to what he thinks went wrong in his life. So the story is extremely intricately written by Bilal, of course, and Mayank. Um, so they've, they've, I don't know, the nice part of the series is also, I think, uh, uh, that it sounds very spoken. Uh, it's not dialogue heavy, heavy. It's not trying, you know, because sometimes uh, Hindi and uh, all of us in, in films, we tend to write uh, dialogue bazi. Uh, so I like the ease with which a uh, lot of intricate things uh, are uh, conveyed in the series. I think that also makes it a little more appealing to regular audience. So it is about Balochistan, it is about politics, it's about conspiracies and between nations. But I think somewhere it becomes easier uh, because it's very spoken and very easily said. Mm -hmm.